you guys I know it's been a while since I made a video so I figured I would make a semi big one today so follow along today I'm going to explain how to use the CB09 blade in your silhouette or cameo 4 devices okay so in the other machines you don't need an adapter so anything younger than the cameo 4 this can go straight into your holder with no problem in the silhouette cameo 4 you're going to either need the blue one or you're going to need the black one okay now the cb09 blade is the same exact setup almost as the ratchet blade you have to manually adjust it so you manually adjust the cb09 blade on this top portion here and so it says i have my blade at seven i was cutting cardstock the other day so I'm going to bring that back down to four and you can find this file online. I'm part of a Facebook group and that's how I uploaded it and downloaded it. If you get this file, do not resize it because this is set up for the CB09 and it will fit just perfectly right here on the depth. Okay. And you see here on my piece of paper, the CB09 comes with a 30 degree, 45 degree, and a 60 degree and what you do is that each one of these little blades I got these off of Amazon come in a little box like this okay so they all come in a little box and each degree is meant for different things so if you want to cut rice paper they suggest using the 30 I always use the 45 I'm always cutting paper vinyl cardstock and sticker it says here on the 60 that you can do like thick cut stuff, but I haven't tried that yet. So I'll let you guys know when I try that soon, I hope. So I'm going to show you guys how to put the blades in this. So all models are different. My blade is a bit different than the others. So I don't lose my blade. Let me take out my magnet because they're very, very small. So this is a dull one, so I don't use it anymore. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. This is one of the dull blades. This is how small it is. Okay? And there's that little blunt that goes into this part. And then it's going to come with springs. So each spring goes through a blade. So in mine... Put that over there. So you're going to flip it up ever so carefully. Untighten this black piece. Alright. So you see here that it goes in this piece versus this piece. Like on some blades, it actually goes on this piece and then you put in the black piece. But on my blade, you put it in the black piece then here. So to say we're going to change it out, we're going to put down our black. And this is my cardstock blade that I'm using. So I'm going to exchange it back out with my vinyl blade. Which I stuck right here for safekeeping. Yeah, that one's my cardstock. Okay. So you have your blade. You have your spring. You have your holder. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the blade in the spring. You're going to get your black cap and kind of level it out there. And then mine, uh oh, sorry, I dropped it. I lost my spring but found my blade. So I had extra springs. So spring on blade. Blade and black cap. Try not to drop it this time. And so sometimes before I put it in the aluminum casing, I test it and make sure it's going in. There it goes. It looks good. And then we get our aluminum casing. 
Most of the time I do this in my little lunch box so I don't lose little pieces. There it goes. And you just have to play with it and gently try to get it lined back in there. Okay. So here is our CB09. This is about how much is sticking out. This is about a three on the ratchet blade. So what I've learned is that if it sticks out too far, it'll cut your finger. So doing just like that is just about perfect right there. And so you want to put this in a Cameo 4. You can do that with the blue adapter. Now, when I first bought this, I was so confused because I couldn't get it to close. It will go like that. It'll fit. Trust me. It's just when I had to do it the first time, I had I have very weak hands. So, I'm sorry if you see the pliers. What I had to do is I had to get the pliers and stretch it shut. Okay? So, if you have a strong hand husband or you have a pair of pliers handy, go ahead and use it on the bottom of it. And be careful with the top and get it to close because you need to close all the way so that way it fits perfectly in your cameo four. but mine already is set up for that I already did it previously so you're gonna put this notch in the bloom notch there and close it shut okay and now some blades work in the black adapter whoops dropped it again and the black adapter is the same way as the blue one. It's just I prefer to use the blue. So you put the rib in the notch. And you see that one's kind of tightly shut. And what you want to do is ever so gently. Yeah, mine doesn't work in my black adapter anymore. But I'm not too concerned. I always put it in my blue one. That little bit of space is going to be okay. It's going to be a tight fit in your cameo. But it'll be okay. But if you can get it to fit in your blue one. Use your blue one. And then I'm going to show you guys how to put it in your machine. Ooh, no, it doesn't want to come out. So now I'm going to get back at my blue one. There we are. Easy fit. Now I'm going to show you guys how to put it in the machine and how to get it to register as a ratchet blade instead of a um, sketch pen because this is a sketch pen adapter. Okay, so we're here at our Cameo 4 and remember this adapter is set up for sketch pen because it has the auto detect tool here. So you're going to put it in your carriage 1. Push it down all the way like you normally would on your auto blade and push it in. Now, if it's a perfect fit, it shouldn't have any issue going in the carriage. Like, it snapped in just fine with no problem at all, okay? Now, if it seems too tight, try to do my plier trick and try to squeeze the carriage, or sorry, squeeze the adapter onto the blade, not squeeze the carriage. Don't touch your carriage, that'd be bad. So I'm gonna show you guys in the system now how to set it up to cut from sketch pen you want ratchet blade you don't want auto blade sketch you want ratchet blade all right so i have my silhouette launched and ready to go so just for it to have something i'm just gonna open up something in my library change the color so you guys can see it push send okay so you guys see my material is set to cardstock textured heavy eight, 80 pound you can leave it alone, or you could set it to vinyl. Whoops. So let's do vinyl metallic. It doesn't matter which one you do, because what's going to happen is that you're going to manually set all your stuff. So you see action, you're going to go cut. And it says the pen tool is detected. Remember to change this to ratchet blade. Okay? And then remember and make sure if you're cutting the whole design, you want it to set the cut. And when you guys saw my blade, I had that at like depth three. 
you can set it on here if you want to three and I always turn on my cross cut what a cross cut does is that say if it comes this way for the cut it will come just a little tick more and then it will come down and then it will cut here and go up a little tick more so that way it's one solid piece versus going constant drag like I always turn this on so that way it's not a constant drag and the force for um, 651 is 10 when you're using a CBO 9 blade turn that down because I'm using a 45 degree angle so it's a little sharper than the other and it's a little sharper than the, um, the auto blade so I'm gonna set that to 5 and then the speed is your own personal preference okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load in a piece of vinyl real quick and I'm gonna show you guys how that cuts okay so what I did is I'm using a very small piece of vinyl so I shrunk down my anchor and I'm gonna show you guys how awesome the CBO 9 blade is with the 45 degree angle because the auto blades gonna have a hard time cutting this And now we're going to load it in. Sorry, I didn't realize that didn't pause. So in it goes. Push send. So you see every time the blade lifts up, that's that cross cut. Versus doing it with the auto where it doesn't cross cut and it just does one consecutive drag. So now we're going to unload that out. Now peel it away. Come on. Now I know it's going to be hard to see. Get that little circle out. And there we are guys that's a teeny tiny decal this is the size of my hands to a 12 by 12 mat or my cameo so fairly small and that teeny tiny decal on my little finger so this is why i don't use auto blade anymore this is why i always use my cbo9 so if you have any questions let me know down in the comments down below and i will try to answer them and more silhouette tutorials coming soon. So have a good day, guys.